All right, next question up says, I understand from RTS Classroom that my current group's training were doing something akin to polarized training. Um, and you'd mentioned in the lesson that sets of, say, 74% for five reps, uh, eight sets on the squat should feel fast. If not, then resort to something like 10 reps at an eight and then do sets of five at the same weight. For me, some of those reps do feel like grinders. In this case, am I missing the point slash effect of the training? Um, it's okay for some of them to feel like grinders, and it would be helpful if I knew what RPE you were referring to. Now, as fatigue sets in, uh, especially toward the end of a protocol like that, they're going to start feeling worse. Um, they're going to start feeling bad even. But the point is that the bar speed still moves fairly quickly and um, you know that's okay you know if we're keeping the RPE below say 8 then I think you're alright uh, the problem isn't really losing out on training effect by having the RPE go higher than 8 the problem is more um, the fatigue cost that gets associated with that um, yeah and if, if the RPE is going way up uh, for lots of sets like that, then it's going to have a pretty big fatigue cost and it's going to be hard to recover from. So that's the main problem. So if your RP is going over 8, then yeah, it's either time to modify that uh, in the way that you said in your email, or uh, it's time to switch to a different training group. Uh, either one of those is acceptable. Um, let's continue this conversation though.